welcome back guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the part two of mid journey ai tutorial series in this part i'm going to show you guys all the settings tools in here and how you can use it what can be what can you achieve by tools all right let's get started to access settings go into forward slash select the settings okay and press enter all right so what do you see in here are basically the settings based on your subscription plan you have access to some of it some of it you may not have access to the first mj1 version 2 and version 3 version 4 are basically the models of the mid journey the latest model is mj if you start working on this now it will be mj4 but if you want you can go to older versions in here and also we have different qualities in here we have the half quality base quality and high quality based on this quality your image will change the time for the image to create also change if you select half quality your image will create it very fast but the quality the detail of the image will be low if you select very high quality it will take a lot of time but the image quality will be very very high so by default i have selected the base quality while i'm working on a design i want to keep this average as well so i can do things very faster but once you have done your design you can always change the quality of the image all these things you don't need to go in and change all the time you can use your own prompt and change that in the code itself i will show you guys how to do that in next parts of these tutorials next we have different style levels okay so we have the medium level high level and very high level when you say style in here it actually means that you are prompt to artistic ratio okay that means whatever you are typing if you select the medium style mid journey will use your prompt it will stick to your original prompt but the artistic side of it whatever it learned from the machine learning it will use it a bit lower all right hope you guys understood this part if you choose high or very high it will still stick to the prompt it will still follow your prompt but it will add in more artistic element to that prompt okay that's what we are controlling from the style in here not the style of the look and feel of the image but it's rather more artistic ratio for your prompt all right guys it's very hard to explain this part but once you guys understood you guys know what it means okay so in here also it's same when you choose high it may take a little bit longer to produce the image but it will use more artistic element to you so based on your requirements you can choose this in here if you want more artistic artistic element to your final artwork based on your prompt you can choose the high if you want medium you can choose the medium in here all right guys okay and then again you guys can see we have the upscale sizes regular upscale light upscale i stick to light upscale all these settings if you guys see i select the middle one and then the beta upscale which is the double of this one the default size is 1024 by 1024 this will be twice the size of that image all right and then we have the public mode and the stealth mode public mode even though this is your dedicated chatbot whatever you created can be still seen by other users if you select the stealth mode other users won't be able to see where other users can see is basically in here if you go to the mid journey and if you go in and sign in you can see these images okay whatever you have created you can see in here and if you go in you can see a community feed if you select this community feed you guys can see what other people have created and when you select these images in here for an example 
you can see the prompt they have used as well okay so by default all of these are public whatever you have created is public other people can copy this and use the same prompt okay let's see an example okay i'm going to select this one in here right i'm just going to select the same prompt in here control c right and then i'm going into my discord in here i'm going to create the same image all right so i'm just going to type again forward slash image now we can enter the prompt okay you can see the same prompt is in here but this time instead of yoda i'm just going to say that weather okay and enter i made a mistake it should be that weird all right so now we are stick to the same prompt in here but i have changed the character and enter and see what will happen now you guys can see it has created the image the same look same style but it has changed the character so as of now, as you guys can see in here, we can simply go and check the community page. And if you like any of other people's artwork, you can simply copy their prompt and paste it in your own chat box and create your own character just like this. So simply, if you build up a community from your own taste, you can simply share your artworks with each other and copy their styles and use those prompts to create your own artwork as well. All right. Yes, this is a new way of creating. So it doesn't mean like you are stealing from anybody. We are just experimenting things in here. This may change in future, but for now, everybody can copy from everybody you can leave it as it is or you can go into stealth mode stealth mode is only available for paid users if you use the community forum in here mid journey newbie newbie chat group you won't have the settings if you go in here you can also go to the settings but in these settings you can see a lot of things will be missing okay jump to the present I can't even see my settings. That's how fast is this chat group is. Maybe I go to a different newbie group. Jump to the present. All right, now I'm going to select in here and going to type settings. Okay, and enter. Okay, this is my settings in here. You can see, you can select the versions, you can select the qualities, you can select the, or oh, here also you can choose the stealth book interesting so you guys can select the stealth mode i think if you select this or you cannot select the self we can see the self stealth mode is deactivated okay and we also have the remix mode okay same in here okay if we go you have the remix mode so remix mode is basically what it does is you always need to on the remix mode with the image mj version 4 because it will reuse your original images for next artworks, okay? All right, guys, the first part we are going to see in here is different types of mode. Most important one is this remix mode in here. If you guys want to create the same image and create different variations of that same image, you guys need to activate this remix mode. By default, Remix mode may off by settings. You may need to go in here into the settings and switch on in here. If it's green, it's switched on. What it does is basically for an example in here, I have these four images, right? So let's say I select this image set in here. So in here, you guys can see we have U1, U2, U3, and U4, which are upscaling each of these images, 1, 2, 3, 4. And below, we have this V1, V2, V3, V4. These are not the versions of Midjourney. These are creating variation. V stand for variation and number stand for the number of this image. For an example, in here, if I click it, 
in here we have these four image set let's say i like the first image but i want to make different variations of this image the first image all i need to do is go in here and go into the v one and select the v1 which will pop up this message saying remix mode in here i can edit the prompt okay i can keep the prompt like this in here and add in more data to this prompt okay you can also add in text and you can have more functions and features as well if you want to add in more things like if you want to add another object in here you can simply type that object in here the next set will be created based on your input and also you can add in some additional data to change the image image settings image style for an example in here i'm just going to type a code don't worry about this code for now guys i'm just going to type in here colon colon and then i'm going to type 8 bit in here all right which is giving a specific detail to the AI to create this artwork. Let's submit and see what will happen. Okay, so I'm just going down in here. Now, if you guys click on it, you can see it already created. You can see in here, it's exactly used our sample. If you go into the original image, it used the exact sample as in here, the first image, but it has created a different variations based on our input our input was to create a 8-bit artwork in here it has created a artwork based on 8-bit okay so i like this one as well you can see some of these places it literally took the 8-bit to 8-bit i feel like it but we can have different things in that prompt for an example we can go in here to this image let's say i want to change this image i can also do that by this button in here this is also basically same as the v1 v2 v3 button but in here we are changing the upscaled image Again, you guys can see the same pop-up appearing in here. In here also, we can change the data. So I'm just going to change the data in here. For an example, in here for the artist name, I'm just going to change the artist name, okay? For this example, I'm going to say, change the artist name to Leonardo Da Vinci, all right? So you can also change stuff like this in here. I'm just going to select submit and let's see how the artwork will look like. You guys can see the original art is in here this original art art style is done by a different artist now we have changed the artist and submit the image all right it's already gave us a results in here and you guys can see the results in here okay wait for it to render complete and it's done let's click and uh, expand it and you guys can see it stick to our original palm art character look almost the same but the artist style has been changed which affected the entire art like this in here okay pretty cool all right okay let's close this one this image in here is another example guys if you guys see the prompt in here it's exact same prompt as earlier but only thing changed in here is the artist name in here i changed the artist name to bansky and this is what it has created okay so you can also use these to create similar characters or similar characters designed by different artists all right we will be using this a lot in our future tutorials this is very very important so please always try to keep the remix mode on all right okay and lastly we have the fast mode and relax mode so the fast mode is basically uh, what it does is you have to pay to access this fast mode when you purchase your account, okay, it will give you direct access to the server of Midjourney Fast. Basically, what you are buying from Midjourney is the fast mode access. If you go into the Midjourney account and if you go into your subscriptions, okay, you can see I have the basic plan. In here, it gives you the detailed view of what you get so you guys can go into here and type on info which will give you the info of your plan so you can see all the information in here i have the fast mode and i have this much time remaining for the access the fast mode and also 
like uh, usage and stuff like that okay so if you purchase the highest plan i think the fast mode is unlimited you can create unlimited number of images okay all these images i am creating here i can use it as a commercial use all right all right guys and the last one is relax mode relax mode is basically what you are using in here when you go to the chat group you have to your image your prompt will be put into a queue and based on the busyness of the queue your image will be processed so it will take more time so if you pay you can directly access the fast mode. all right guys so these are the very basics of the bit journey tool in the next part of this video i'm going to show you guys the parameters okay how we can use the values and change the entire image okay so let me show you guys an example i'm going to type the same this prompt in here and i'm going in here and enter imagine and enter the prompt and then i'm going to add in some codes okay i'm going to say colon colon Frida A A H L O and then I'm going to enter I'm going to enter value number one and then I'm going to say bronze and then again I'm going to enter the value number one and iPhone, iPhone, AR, 2 by 1. And again, iPhone, iPhone, style 1000. Right? Now, let's enter and see what will happen. You guys can see this image. I enter the same code with some extra elements to this, right? All right, so you guys can see with the same main prompt in here, I enter some codes and the image is totally changed. All right, you can see we have more options and also we have this one. I like this one a lot. All right, so what I did is in my prompt, in addition to the instruction, which is the image instruction, I also entered some specific style guides and size guides and version guide in the code okay so when you tell that to the ai it will use that original prompt and it will create an image based on your additional information which is in here okay this is the most important part we are going to learn which is in our next tutorial part three so in our next part, I'm going to tell you guys what these are and how you guys can create these are and what they are mean. I know guys, it looked really scary in here, but actually once you understood what these are, actually you can create anything you want. These are the most important part in this journey tutorial. All right guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. This is basically the basics of mid journey. Hope you guys like this. If you guys like, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next part.